the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. With John. <laughs> hey, dude, you should pantomime the theme song every day. Oh, that was glorious. It just adds a layer of genuineness to the whole thing. Sincerity. Look at the sincerity on that face. Let's try something unrehearsed right here, right? I'm Scott. I'm Bill. That's John. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to be like, and I'm John. Was that what I was supposed to yeah, do? Yeah. Say AKA G Dog. AKA. Oh, come on, no. No, he's like, get out of here. <laughs> so what's the uh, what's the hot takes for today? What you know, like the, we're on the table of the view right now. It's like you know, hot topics. What's uh, going on? Ronda Rousey, she wants to be in Kill Bill Three. Really? Uh, Post Malone got an awesome new face tattoo. Ugh. Uh, can't wait. To I show haven't you actually this seen one. this yet. This uh, has wait, be do you see? Late breaking. It's like something out of like uh, like a Japanese horror movie that involves like some cre- creepy thing, like overtaking everything, like some ooze thing. Is oh. it the Grudge? Oh, he's a little I, girl I like crawling Malone. out of his eyeball. I like Post Malone a lot, but I think anybody that puts tattoos on their face has major issues. So, yeah. well, one thinking. of his issues is that he's always tired. Yeah, and he wants us to know that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe when he wakes up, yeah. uh, we'll see what he says about this. That's why he makes his poor decisions. He needs a nap. <laughs> Just take a nap, bro. Yeah, you'll be. Fun. You won't stop getting face tattoos. And uh, Rich the Kid's Instagram got hacked, and the hackers like, "Yo, you're gonna have to pay up some moolah." We'll get into that. Um, uh, Jeopardy. Possibly, we'll be going through some changes mm-hmm. in the few near future, and uh, some other celebrities broke up that are on some big uh, Netflix shows. So we'll get to that in just a minute. <laughs> some so, some celebrities that are on Netflix shows. <laughs> this is the master tease meister right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a celebrity on a Netflix show, <laughs> <laughs> and a couple other ones you maybe have yeah, heard of. Before. Probably not though. All right, so let's uh, let's jump right in with um. Alex Tribeck. <laughs> okay, first of all, <laughs> he goes, he's writing this down for the outline. He's like, how do you spell Tribeck? T-R-I. And I'm like, E-B-E-K. And so he writes, T-R-I-B-E-B-E-K. Tribebeck. And I was like, were you about to write, like, Tribeca? Is that what you were about to write? Because he was like, wait, 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 wait. I was like, he's like, how is it? I was like, E-B-E-K. He's like, you just gave me the whole alphabet there. How do you spell it? I was like, no, just T-R-E. B E K. It's not. <laughs> anyway, this dude is so, so difficult sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, yo, just how do you spell? And he's just throwing out like he goes A B C D E F G H I J K. He's just freaking writing letters down as I say them. I was like, when he said T R I, I'm like, no, 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 not T R I T R E. But he just kept writing. He just started with T R I and then just keep kept going. So um, his uh. contract is expired in 2020, and he said that there is a 50 50 shot that he returns to host as the you know the Lord. You, Excuse me. How do you feel about Overlord Alex Tribeck possibly leaving? Tribeck. Tribeck. I don't know his damn name. Alex I never... Trebek. You don't know who Alex Trebek I is? I know who he is. I don't know how to say his name. He's up there. I mean, you know, who could be, re- who, you know, who could replace him? He's 78 years old. He actually named a couple people that he'd be interested in having replaced Are him. Are they any known people? Um, Maybe Alex Faust. He's an announcer for, for the, the LA Al- Kings. Yeah, okay. No, I don't okay. know who he is. And then Laura Coates, who is an attorney and commentator. Sounds like probably political commentator. Looks like she maybe has a podcast or something. I'm not sure. I went to, I clicked on her Twitter briefly, but I couldn't be bothered beyond that because I had What's other her, things. Was she like a Harvey? Maybe Maybe you guys should like you know make a petition the Bill and Scott uh, co-hosting oh. Jeopardy show. Oh. <laughs> Damn, <Dude. laughs> let's get a green screen and put together a demo. I don't think we have the air of sophistication that's required to do a show like that. What do you mean? Well, you know how Alex Trebek is he's he's kind of stuffy. But also in sort of a Actually, funny way. Actually, I probably blew that opportunity for us already because I didn't know how to say his last name or spell yeah. it. Well, I mean, see, you know, if we took over the show, it would go in an entirely different direction. But when Alex to the Trebek, basement, like he's he's he's, he's <laughs> stuffy in a, in a in a jolly way, but he also has this like air of cluelessness about him. Like he's kind of out in in like uh, aristocratic space. Where he doesn't, he knows about the cultural goings on of us little people, and he tries his best to pronounce. Like, remember when he did when he read Jumpman, mm. the Jumpman lyrics, and he's like, "Uh, uh, uh, I think I need my Robitussin." And I was like, nobody can do that like Alex Trebek, unless they look for somebody specifically to do that. But I think that would be a mistake, and that would tarnish the man's legacy. Ooh, 
I think they got to get somebody young, fresh, let them just go do it, take the show in their own direction. Hence us. Yo, what up, Stephanie and Genevieve? Thanks for tuning on in. Okay, um, uh, what's his name? Rich the Kid, right? Last or He put out this whole message. He was going through some stuff recently, and he was like, oh, blah, 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 wah, 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 about life. Wait, and wait, the wait, next wait. day, wait, he wait, wakes wait, up, wait. and he's like, I'm sorry. I was high last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a... What a, what a responsible yeah. decision for somebody named Rich the Kid. I'm so happy people look up to him and, you know. Well, anyways, um, so then he comes uh, yesterday and after all this happens and he puts up this post, R.I.P. Rich the Kid, his birth date to 2018. Somebody is able to hack into his Instagram and his Twitter. They send messages to Kanye. Like, Kanye. Can you suck now? Yeah, and who else they send it to? Somebody else. Um, I think it was Nicki Minaj, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, come, if you need some hits, holler at me or yeah, something like that. Was. And then uh, on the – so well, or he recently got back his uh, Twitter like a half an hour ago because I checked before the cubicle show. I did my research, and I did – he got his Twitter back, but not his yeah, Instagram. Some fact checking. All right. That you Good know for you. that the news media outlets don't want to do. Nope. Anyways, it don't take that long either to just Yo, they type just, in something. You real know, quick. news outlets they just copy and paste each other. You know that I interned for a news outlet at one point in my life, and they just they all share the same stuff. They try to put a little bit of different spin yeah. on it, but then they get the fact finder team. You know who the fact finder teams are? The interns, because I was on the fact oh, finder. Oh, I thought you were talking about the. James but yeah, fact that's finders. why we're the Jams fact finder oh. team. That's where that came from. Oh. It was born of the fires of a of a boring See, news. I internship. didn't know the metamorphosis of the fact finder. Now you know, now my, know my chrysalis in 2007 was woven when I wow. decided that TV news was super boring. And Rich the Kid now, the guys are like, "Yo, if you don't give us seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you're not getting back your Instagram." Now, first of all, is your Instagram really worth a quarter of a million dollars? Three quarters of a million. Yeah. Stay woke. Yeah, what Stay did I say? Stay sharp. You said a quarter. Still, is it it's even a worth a quarter of a million? million? You know um, what I mean? Like, how much is it worth? He's got like four million followers, a little over four million followers. So that's like saying that each follower is worth, uh, what, like? We'll, we'll do four million divided by, hang on. Is that probably like math? 50 cents yeah. each or something like that? Calculator. So 4 million. But I just don't understand Divide how by these... 750,000. What did you get, you're paying about? $5 a follower. No, you're not. No, 5 you're cents? Not. 5 cents a follower? 5 no, cents? Hold on. Oh, we got it. I did it wrong. Hold oh, my do, God. We got to do 750. I love when he's just as four. bad at math as me. Uh, 19 cents a follower. 19 cents a follower. Yeah, that seems about right. I, I read I'd somewhere... i 19 be... cents for... I read somewhere. No, I wouldn't buy followers because I don't do no, that. I don't buy oh, followers. That's why I have such a low follower count on Twitter and Instagram. So at Billy Kid Radio, if you want to boost that up, if you want to make me feel a little bit better about myself, thanks. Yeah, I did read somewhere that followers are worth about ten cents a follower in advertiser dollars. So when they're looking at somebody, that's kind of how they like. So this is a little bit inflated. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, but you know that's what you get when you delve into a life of crime. But why would you even think that like you're gonna get this money from them? First of all, like. They're going to reach out to Zux, and Zux is just going to like change it and go back to him. It just seems like a waste of time. Can somebody be prosecuted for hacking into social media? I'm sure they can. Or is that a new law that we're probably going to no, see No, I'm sure there are already laws for that. That's some invasion kind of invasion of privacy. of privacy laws. Yeah, of some sort. You know, theft of intellectual property, um, stuff like that. I, just, I, I don't see how you can hack somebody's Instagram and confidently make a demand that you're not giving it back until they give you money because then Instagram can just be like, actually, we're going to give it back yeah. to them. You think you're just making a big deal. And the dude posted like on his <coughs> own Instagram too that he hacked Rich the Kid's yeah. Instagram. So it's, not so it's like, dude, now you're going to get your Instagram deleted, delete, <laughs> delete, <laughs> delete. delete. <laughs> I, I actually know that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my boy, uh, Broken oh, Matt. Um, Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks for the follows. And she says she that said not it's worth not it. worth it. Start, start over. over. And, uh, I, I agree it's not worth it, but just because it's, you're leaving a digital paper, paper trail a mile long, and you're going to be caught, and it's going to be turned back over to him eventually. And Genevieve, just like if we were able to be syndicated on every radio station, everything across the world, you know, be, well, that's how where we're gonna go it, because we're gonna be putting Howard Stern Plans out of business and everything like that, and put out everybody in radio out of business because that's what we do. If we actually did do that Jeopardy skit, we would put SNL out of business. That's true. Because they'd be Shoot. like, "Damn, now we need Bill and Sk and they'd be like, "And uh, what? How do they start in live from live from New York? It's Saturday. It's, they'd be like, <laughs> live from the Cubicle Show. It's, it's Scott and Bill, Bill because it starts with us. 
<laughs> but speaking of Instagram, check this out. Tell you ready? Me. Yeah. That's what I call an Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's your stay woke moment for the day. Yeah, I've been saving that one. I'm going to make that joke on air tomorrow morning. Actually, I'm going to call it an ingestogram. So, <laughs> get ready. Damn. I need another Instagram. Would you like an Instagram? I'll take an Instagram, please. Have an Instagram. I'm going to leave this mm. one up to you here. Okay. Would you like to talk about Young Ronda <laughs> or say post to close out the show? I want to talk about post to close out the show. Okay. Is there a group of people oh, coming yeah. oh, well, look Welcome to the Cubicle Show. Wow. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hello. How you doing, people? Hello. What's your name? Hi. Riley. 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 Nice How you doing, you? Riley? I'm Scott. How you doing? What's They're your on name? the Cubicle Paul, Show right now. Paul? Yes. Nice to meet you, Paul. I'm Bill. Bill nice to meet you. 96.3, by the way. They're doing the Cubicle Show. We do our live yeah. stream web show Facebook. every day at this time. Feel, so say I hi to Facebook. You are like opposite of myself. You are. So it's not like reflective, so you can actually read words on the screen. It's very awkward. Yeah, it's strange. Bill, do you need a new co-host? Here you Go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. um, can you be here at 6 a.m. tomorrow? No. <laughs> like, right. not at all. It was, it was worth a shot. <laughs> <clears throat> Shout out to them. Thanks for stopping on by. Riley and Paul, correct? That's right. You you have a better memory for that kind of thing than I do, okay. apparently. Stephanie says she <clears throat> wants to hear about posts. <clears throat> but let's cover Nikki, or wait. Let's get Ronda Rousey. Ronda out of the way, because it's real quick. Over. Get it? Get, get it? It's a wrestling joke. So Rhonda says that she wants to. She's like, "Yo, Quentin, I hear you." <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. She's like, she's like, "Yo, Quentin, I hear you." <laughs> he tells a story, and I'll make her move. Okay. Yo, Quentin, I hear you about to do Kill Bill free. I gotta get off. Screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Make it, make it bigger. Make it bigger. Okay, ready? Tell the story. I'm gonna hide. Yo, Quentin, I hear you about to make Kill Bill free. If you don't put me in it. I'm going to kill you, Quinn. You see these fists? They didn't help me in my last fight or the one before that. Okay. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, God. <laughs> we just put a nice new spin. We should Get make ready this for a regular the new feature, segment. Right? Yeah, the where, show. Sc where Scott talks and the picture moves. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Why is there going to be a Kill Bill three? Wasn't then they wrap it. Was it a prequel? I don't know. I didn't read about it. Okay. I well, didn't. So that's my... that's what we know about it. Is that Ronda Rousey? Oh. I was like every other news outlet, and I just copy and paste oh, the headline. <laughs> bars. I didn't do any fact checking on that. He's really my fact checking. I'm gonna have some big facts for you tomorrow about Drake because we're like, oh, what artist has spent the most weeks at number one? Not consecutive. Hey, There's P. Kelly. Um, not consecutive, but throughout the whole year, and I'm about 35 years back right now. I got another, like, 20, 30 years to go, but tomorrow we'll have some big facts on that. Okay. Um, Post Malone's out in Japan, and he met up. You may have seen him um, with uh, Kendrick Lamar yesterday in Japan, but before he met up with Kendrick Lamar, he stops by... Uh, a, a tattoo artist, right? And he decides to get himself a brand new face tattoo. Now, you know when those, like, like Japanese, like, horror movies, you have, like, that black substance that, like, oozes out and, like, overtakes, or, like, in the upcoming Venom movie, you know how, uh, what's that stuff called? That, uh, the uh, symbiote? Yeah, the symbiote comes on him and it, like, spreads over his face and it's, like, this black stuff in any ways. Well, anyways, you ready for this? Enough I haven't season. seen this yet. Here I we go. Wanna, I have... Oh, my. Oh, my. See what I'm talking It's almost uh... like somebody took a pen and was like, is there ink in it? And they, like... <laughs> like, scribbled. It's like somebody like... took a pen and broke it open yeah. on the side of his face. What the heck? That uh, is your boy post right there. Uh, I guess there is no plans for Kill Bill 3, but I guess Rhonda's threatening. She she wants to do it? Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah. There's no plan. Wait, how do we know she did her research? Isn't she a scientist? She doesn't know about movies. Damn her. Okay, let's get let's get focused on this horrific on this. <laughs> tattoo. What do you think? Wait, wait. Top five what do you think, worst tattoo What do you think Post Malone time? said when he got his tattoo? He's like, hey, bro. You know when you pick up a pen? Wait, why am I doing Hogan voice for everybody? <laughs> well, you know when you pick up a pen, brother? Hey, hey, brother, you know when you pick up a pen and you're not sure if there's ink in it? And you take it and you scribble it on a piece of paper to see if it works? Yeah. Why don't you do that all through the left side of my face right above my eye and across my forehead? <laughs> Dude, it looks like brother. This, it looks like he's 
it, he's me. Like, look at the way my my, uh, my neck brother. looks. Uh, like, leading into Post Malone's face. It's super weird. Okay. <laughs> you just, we revolutionized the cubicle straight today. <laughs> Dude, I'm watching it on the free, on the delay, and it's really funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What does it look like to you? Like, comment. Let us Ooh. know what it looks like. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Oh man. Oh man. We. Uh, Any shout outs we should do before we out of here? Uh, we we should at least shout out the broken up couples. Oh briefly. yeah, because we, we about did that. mention it was Millie Bobby Brown who plays Hello. Eleven on Stranger Things, um, and Jacob Sartorius who's like a YouTuber. Wait, we're gonna cycle back to post real quick. Yeah. We're gonna hold on. We're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna show you where our shows are. And I'm gonna show you this damn celebrity couple. Okay. There we go. That That's them. Two. They Eleven. broke up. She's like 14, he's like 15, they're done. Richie Sambora and Oriante, I guess they were dating and now they're broken up. And Harry Styles and his girlfriend of a year, she must not be famous because she wasn't mentioned by name. I didn't even know he had a girlfriend. They're also broken up. It's that time of year, the time of year. Oh. Last year when Anna Faris and Chris Harry Styles put out Pratt a good album. Up. He's probably going to put out another good one, especially if she broke his heart. Ooh, true. And Niall Horan uh, had his heart broken and put out a good album. And then he said that um, he was sick of performing songs off that album. It was weird because he's not heartbroken anymore. Now he's happy because he's dating Haley Steinfeld. He didn't say that, but they're, they're dating. Um, so his next album's probably going to suck. Damn. Because you can't put that. out a good album when you're happy. Art comes from pain. <laughs> I was actually just reading in my book about that last night. All right, so uh, Tia, I guess, right? I would, yeah, I would say Tia. Tia, is that right? And is that, Queen they say that? What up, Tia? Thanks for tuning on. It looks like diarrhea. <laughs> it does. Yeah, wait, wait hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, we're going back to post real quick. We're not done with this. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. It looks right. like a streaky toilet bowl. So Tia says it looks like diarrhea. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, Stephanie man. says she loves post, but he needs to stop touching <clears> his face. I agree 100%. So it definitely is Tia. Um, Queen Kiki. Tuning on in. Thank you for tuning on in. Yo, you're the Kiki? Is, are you the one that Drake is asking about? Do you love it. Drake, Kiki? Do you love Answer him? the question once and Do for all. Do you love him? Do you love Post Malone's tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> I, we just, I could feel like we could just sit that there all day. It's so <laughs> just goofy let looking. It go. Like we could put it up on the right-hand corner like we had Wheelchair Jimmy yesterday. All right, so that's about it for today. Yeah, that's... that's Anything you want to say? <laughs> no, I, I just... It reminds me... Diarrhea is, is yeah, probably really... the best compare. Like, when you look at... When you, like, take a big old diarrhea and, like, you look down at the toilet bowl and it's all streaky because it exploded out, that's what that's what it looks like. Well, leave uh, Bill to be the one to get very graphic and detailed about mm -hmm. stuff, so thank you. I know what I'm talking about. All right, so with that being said, that's it for today's episode of The Cubicle Show. We appreciate you tuning on in. Tomorrow we'll be back at it, but you catch The Cubicle Show on the Jazz Facebook page Monday through Thursday at 10.30 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matters. And we're going to roll our old outro that we haven't updated oh, yet. Nice. No, no, not the original, but the one that is old, that is mad passive aggressive, but we're back in the cube, so we're going to update it for season four. Okay. Oh, I thought you meant the first outro yeah oh hold on wait you got something okay yeah oh yeah yeah we got a comment oh it's a different oh, it's another kiki. kiki oh well do you love him well do you let us know yeah well thank you guys for tuning on and we appreciate it see you tomorrow bye one cubicle show cubicle show cubicle show cubicle show that's what i'm talking about boy Bill's got cubicle show, yeah. Bill's got cubicle show, yeah. Bill's got Bill's got cubicle show. It's the Bill's got Bill's got cubicle show. It's the Bill's got Bill's got cubicle show. It's the Bill's got Bill's got cubicle show. Cubicle show, cubicle show, cubicle show, cubicle show. Not a rectangle show, not a triangle show, not a pyramid show. It's a cubicle show. Bill's got cubicle show, yeah. Bill's got cubicle show, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just got one boy.